he was stuff. doing music. He was owner of the source, right? Yeah. Just for people who might not know. Um, and doing well, right? Like, yeah. S- s- financially? Well. I mean, for the most part, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. he was, he had the magazine mm-hmm. and I was so young, so there's so much, like, I don't know, right. but I do remember, like, a big house. I remember the big house. I remember the mics. Um, there were, like, awards for the, from the source. Right. I remember, like, he had these, it was a silver one and a gold one. Right. Like, I remember the mics. But, um, you know, me and my father never really had a relationship for real where he could sit down and kind of just tell me what was really going on. So I didn't really know what was going on. But, you know, my mom and dad relationship wasn't the best. Mm. They There was a lot of arguing mm. all the time. I never saw my mother and father, like, kiss you feel me? Aww. Like, ever. I probably walked in on them, like, having sex one time. <laughs> but, like, I've never seen them actually. That's, like, too have... much. One time is yeah, too much. Yeah, it was child. one time and too much. But, like, <laughs> I, um, you know, I never really seen them have, like, this. They weren't, like, intimate and loving. Intimate. No, yeah, no. Love Maybe that. over time, as I got older, it just started growing apart. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do remember it was just a lot of tension between them. My father was, uh, it was an angry person. Mm-hmm was something that I didn't want to do because of reasons like this, right? Because of reasons like this. Um, I just want to clear up the fact that that interview that I did with Angie Martinez was done back in June. That was almost five and a half months ago, almost six months ago now. But yeah, that was back in June, July, August, September, October, November. Yeah, five months ago. And um, it's unfortunate that it came out now, but I I wouldn't never, I love Angie Martinez and I wouldn't want to share my story with anybody else. Um, during that time, I was doing a press release and I never told my story. I, that's something I just, you know, but Angie Martinez was something I wanted to do that with. And I'm very, very appreciative of that moment and blessed. Um, so yeah, since then me and him reconciled the relationship and tried um yeah we tried now you know instead of like reaching out to me direct or hitting me direct and congratulating me on my nominations and you know being nominated for the emmys and you know my grammy nominations and um you know just so much stuff you don't call you don't write but you take everything to the internet and you get on the internet and you try to play this, I don't know, you try to just whatever. Try to downplay me, try to make it play victim, try to make it seem like I'm attacking you, try to make it seem like my intentions is to hurt you and that's never the case here. Um, I have a platform, I have a lot of people that look up to me and I am. I deserve to be able to speak my truth and that's just a fact. Um, yeah. And I don't have to get on here and lie about struggle. I don't think anybody wants to do that. But yeah, I think that's corny. I have a mugshot. I asked my mom. I, you know, I'm not gonna. We don't even want to put my other family in this because I think that's kind of not what I'm here for. Um, what else? That pretty much sum everything up, right? It pretty much said it in the most... Trying to say this in the most, like, graceful way and just try to make y'all understand, like, I, if I don't get on here and say something and it takes me everything in me to get on live and do this, especially, again, in the most pr- precious times of my career. But for some reason, these blogs, right? Like, my entire career, it seems like they've just been trying to take over my story, take over my narrative, take over my career. And if I don't say something, if I don't defend myself, if I don't speak up, then I'm going to allow these blogs to tell my story, to tell y'all who I am. And I don't think that's fair to me, to my fans, to anybody. I don't know what, why these people are so infatuated on trying to like put crazy stories or trying to make crazy headlines. Or like if you notice, all these blogs are talking about my dad's situation, but none of nobody's posting the Grammy nomination. And I just find that crazy, but I don't expect that nobody owes me shit, but it just goes to show you that if I don't get on this live and tell you my side of the story, then again, these blogs are going to tell it for me. And I don't want that to be a situation. So for me, um, yep. I don't have to speak on this ever again. Um, he made it very clear that he never wants to speak to me again. 
So I, I, I just wish that you would respect that. Um, again, the interview was done in June. I haven't said anything since, but respectfully, I just wish that we could just kind of just keep everything offline moving forward. If you have anything to say, you can call Grandpa Tito. You can call my mom. Just like how you called me last week asking for what you asked for, you could have just hit me direct. Like, I'd rather you just do that on a respectful level of just me being your daughter at the end of the day. Like, I don't, we don't got to have a relationship, but I'm still your kid. It is what it is. So just respect the fact that what you're doing is not cool. Um, baby Zeno got to see it. Taj got to see it. Everybody got to see it in the family. Grandpa, my grandfather texted me talking about he got to get on his breathing machine because he gets so worked up having to see him go online and just to create craziness for no reason, make up things, try to make it seem like I'm, I just don't, it just has to stop. And if you notice, it has been a pattern for some time now, a pattern for some time now, a pattern since he went on Clubhouse and did the whole Blick Blick situation and leaked and leaked the fact that I had the record with Nikki since he went and tried to downplay my album sales on Trendsetter, since he went and tried to like, it just seems like every single time, instead of you congratulating me and be happy for me, you want to go online and try to use me to prove yourself to these people in this industry on why you feel like you didn't get the respect or whatever it is that you deserve. I don't want to be a clout kid. I don't want to be a clout kid. I'd rather us again, just hit me offline, hit our family and other than that, let's just, I'll never, ever, ever mention anything in any more interviews ever again. That's all. Have a good day. Have a good night. I hope everybody stays blessed. And yeah. See you later. I can fuck shut up. Ah, say, no! I'm, oh, shit. Say it again. Say something else. Oh, say something else. Say something else, nigga. What I called you for. Yeah, I called you for some money. I made you. You didn't make me. You're right. I called Ray Ray and everybody else. I'm supposed to. Who the fuck else am I supposed to call? What the fuck is the matter with this generation of you kids, man? Y'all are Y'all are Angie knew what she was doing. She don't like me. Angela Yee knew what she was doing. She don't like me. But you had no problem with disrespecting the fucking man that brought you here. I had you. You didn't have me. My career, I did amazing fucking things. Amazing things. I'm proud of what you're doing, but Court, you ain't done this shit or made the money that I made. You couldn't walk in my fucking Adidas for an hour. How can you get on here and say, that you're a clout, I'm using you for clout. Coy, Coy, your first record was disrespecting me. Your first record that Universal allowed was you disrespecting your father. In that narrative of me not being there and you was had to come out and sell drugs and you had to overcome all these obstacles. No, 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 you was bad. Your mother sent you down to live with me in Atlanta. You couldn't cope with that because I wasn't going for the shit that she goes for and went for. So I don't know if there was some uh, anger because of that, but that's all, I, that's all how I knew to be a father. How am I using you as a clout kid? Do you know, Coy, when me and your mother broke up, the $800,000 new house in Upper Saddle River, not Saddle River, we moved from the mansion to Upper Saddle River. Remember, I got indicted by the feds and I lost everything. I got indicted by the feds and I lost everything. Now, I go back to the street. Fuck the music industry. The street is there for me. I take my right back to Boston or any block in this country and get it. Cause that's what I did, for real. But I, but we started Hip Hop Weekly, we moved on, I moved to Miami, but I gave your mother a house. Now before that, I was giving your mother $4,000 a month allowance, four Gs a month for a few years. She could have took some of that money and saved it. She could have opened up a business. When I gave her the house, Coy, you, Taj, Kwame, and Marnie, when I gave her the house, like the four or five bedroom house, 
I was still sending twenty five hundred a month when we broke up. The mortgage was eighteen hundred a month. She said she couldn't afford it. I got no problems with Asia. I'm not disrespecting Asia. I'm not disrespecting your mother. But I'm telling my fucking truth because I'm tired of you lying on me and making. You don't understand, Corey, right? What I went through. Like I represent a lot of in that town, in Roxbury, in Dorchester. But I can't let you come on the internet and ruin my reputation. How are you a clout kid? How am I using you for clout when I'm your storyline since day one? I thought it was over with. I thought after Rolling Loud, which you, you treated me like I was one of the fucking uh, stagehands. It ain't no secret I'm not doing as better than I was, but I don't give a I don't care about it. That's not what it is about me. Money didn't make me. I've had millions, and I've spent it on you, your mother, your, your, your um, two older brothers, Taj, and your um, uncle, Jason. Shout, that's my heart, paralyzed. I took care of everybody, and you knew that. Since no more parties, you've been using me as your storyline, and you're still doing it. You're talking about your truth. That's not your truth. I, I struggled, I sacrificed, I sold drugs, so you didn't have to. And I know that sounds cliche-ish, but in this case, that's how it happened. And your mother's not gonna get on here and defend me because you take care of her. You need to tell me I've survived everything, but I'm gonna let my daughter take me down? It ain't gonna happen, CC. Princess. When you was three, you had minks and diamonds on in Ray Ray's video, Shine Like My Son, where I brought other fathers and their kids. Stevie, Nori, Ja, where y'all at? Y'all supposed to be my fucking brothers. Say something. You was there when I was taking care of her. You seen what the fuck I was... Where the fuck are all my friends at that seen me taking care of this little girl and ain't saying... What the fuck, man? God damn, man.